All right, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, this next battle is very, very exciting. Uh, one guy's been on TV, one guy is uh, thirsty. Uh, <laughs> first, first guy I'm bringing up the stage, uh, he's from Simi Valley, the home of those cops who beat Rodney King. Make it loud for Ryan Nesson! Their phone here. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. They left their. <laughs> Don't go through Heather's. Uh, Jesus. Christ. Sarah's phone. All right, Brian Nesson, you're up here. You're battling Joe Urel, uh, yeah. who's handicapped. Why are you trying to go to hell? Ah, uh, you know what, man? He's he's fucking. He was just born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He's got it all. You know, he's tall, good looking, athletic. Comes from a good family. He's fucking. Someone needs to bring him down a peg. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, this man's a fucking killer. You've seen him on uh, Roast Battle Season 3 from Long Beach. Make it loud. Joe, you're right! I think he needs a ramp. He's got his own ramp guy, motherfucker. An entrance. Do a flip. Do an ollie. Backside 180. Are they here to battle each other or the flight of stairs? I'm battling life. You win. <laughs> what up, Cramp? How are you doing? <laughs> I am definitely too high for this. No, hang in. I don't hang in. He's a good joke writer. Moses, I don't get it. You, You're okay. You You're keep good. calling him Crip, but his hands are saying blood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no cameras anymore. This show's been canceled. At least solid two battles. All right, uh, Joe Barry, California, with the low rider thing. Uh, why are you battling Ryan Nesson here? Because he looks like he double parked and handicapped. <laughs> fuck you! What the fuck? Why the fuck do they get the good parking? They get to roll around anyway. Why do they be close? <laughs> Gentlemen, it's one round. It's five jokes. Because Joe has to... Anyway, uh... Who's going first here? You can. Okay, I'll go first. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Are we ready for this? <laughs> Joe looks like what happens when a woman takes only half of her Plan B pill. <laughs> Ryan is a Jew with such little personality, he puts the hollow in Holocaust. <laughs> Joe, I'm honestly not surprised you made a Jew joke, considering your arms look like two halves of a swastika. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, Ryan is only jealous of my cerebral palsy because Unlike him, I don't have to take steroids to build muscle. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Andrew Dice Clay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Your of Dollar Store, David Swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all of his physical disabilities, Joe would never call himself retarded because that's a word he can't pronounce. <laughs> can laugh at that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> exactly. uh, you know, Ryan's dad lost his battle with cancer after 29 brave years of having Ryan as his son. <laughs> It's true, uh, but it's funny. Joe's birth parents actually got rid of him when he was 12. And when they did, they didn't put him up for adoption. They put him up on Auto Trader. <laughs> again, again, your dad was an optometrist who didn't see cancer coming. What's up with that? Yeah, but at least he was easy on the eyes. <laughs> so what's my mom? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's, 
Ryan's fiance is a lot like its personality, completely flat. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, make her take her top off now. Um, <laughs> Joe's a bad boy, uh, as you can tell. Uh, he likes drinking, smoking, and riding roller coasters. Oh wait, those were his mom's hobbies while she was pregnant with him. <laughs> you know, and it's funny because uh, Ryan's hobbies include boxing, Krav Maga, and saying his fiance Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cherry Seinfeld. Uh, <laughs> Joe's adopted parent's name is Hunter, which is ironic since they clearly gather vegetables. <laughs> Ryan actually went to jail, and the jail time was a lot like his college baseball career. He was a catcher. I was only in jail for one night, but you got the chair, so <laughs> fuck it. That, that was funnier with the cold Buchanan, did it? Whoa. Hey, keep it going. Hey. Hey, Nessie. Joseph Urell. That is a lot of fun. All right, uh, if you guys want to judge and, uh, you know, have some things be said on the internet, go ahead. Yeah, uh, this, was, this was a great battle. Uh, Andrew Dice Clay, so funny. That was, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, Auto Trader laughed so hard. Jo Joe, your catcher joke, uh, so funny. Joe, I don't know how you're such a good writer when one of your hands looks like shaved balls. <laughs> I'm, I'm Suey White Claw for copyright and <laughs> Joe, 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 Joe. Joe, I, I want to give you a high three for that joke. Uh, two. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, my vote, uh, I, I, I want to vote for you, Joe, because like, you did all that with your feet up. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's so chill. <laughs> it's so chill. That's really chill. <laughs> Very chill. But, uh, my vote goes to Ryan. Uh, good job. Ooh, nice. Oh, is it my oh, turn? Are you flexing right now? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I think um, he's shitting. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi, Joe. Oh, no. We've been making the same Make-A-Wish for years, y'all. Uh, let's go on. First of all, we raised a lot of good money tonight, so uh, let's just all <laughs> give ourselves some credit. Also, uh... You know, we give Joe a lot of credit for being a great joke writer, and he is, but we don't give enough credit to the puppeteer who's controlling him. Uh, he's behind the chair, and his name is David. Guys, give him... Uh, I'm, I'm going to stay with that joke until there he gets Lee Pete Davidson alive. Um, what do you say? Lee Pete Davidson alive. I will leave Pete Davidson alone. Okay. Sure. Uh, I thought it was a good battle. I thought you guys, uh, you guys both had strong jokes. Uh, I think Joe had more. You had one knockout punch in the middle that I, I don't know why. I can't remember which one. It, I, I, sadly, I can't remember the joke, but it was the biggest laugh in the battle, in a battle that was pretty even all the way around. So I'm giving it to Joe. Thank you. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, Kim. This was, uh, this was really fun, you guys. You look like uh, twins where one tried to eat the other one in the womb. Sure. I'll let you guys guess. Uh, <laughs> I will. <laughs> uh, uh, Joe, you look, like, you, look like if a, you look like a robot's blood clot. <laughs> Wait, I do want to pitch a TV show with you guys, One and a Half Men. Uh, <laughs> Ryan looks like he uses the word tummy too much. Um. Joe looks like he survived Squid Game but wasn't supposed to. <laughs> if the game was musical chairs. Okay, okay, Don't come on. Tell anyone. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't even truly. I I I have uh, I have Joe winning by one joke. Um, 
and uh, losing because of his sideburns. How were the sideburns the least, the most unattractive thing about you? <laughs> How? You can fix that, Joe. Not by himself. <laughs> they, they take away from the crippled hands, so. <laughs> so I'll give it to Joe. Uh, I thought... I thought Ryan started strong, but then Joe started, like, picking up steam in the middle, I felt like. And you were getting in, like, jabs, but he was getting in more, like, jokes. You were getting in more, like, I side am steam, jokes. I am steam power, so... Boom. Yeah, you're saying Damn. really ramped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it got rolling in the middle. Uh... Oh, so... Joe. Yay! Yay! Yeah, so that's that's three for Joe, one for Ryan. Holy shit, everybody, you're winning tonight. Again, it's Joe you Love dance each other. Keep it going. Joe Yarrell, Ryan Nesson, everybody. Roll out. Hit it, man! <laughs> 